What is going on guys? Infinity, of course, here today again with another video. It's been kind of a long time, not really, but getting back on that video grind. But today's video, if you've not seen already in the title, is about Call of Duty championships before i get into that topic real quick gameplay in the background it's either going to be two or three can't really decide i'm making the video i'm just kind of throwing there whatever i'm pretty sure it's only going to be two but it's on uh, me playing black ops 2 with a friend i decided to throw it in there getting some swarms just pooping on kids you know the usual making kids look their own nuts so just kind of want to throw that in there but uh, today i am talking about call of duty championships and real quick uh uh just go ahead pointing out um, this is the third Call of Duty Championships that has happened. It is the Million Dollar Tournament. That is right. Teams of four from all around the world will be coming to compete for a million dollars. So the game that you and I play every day for laughs and giggles, people play for a million dollars. Pretty crazy. Um, you know, it's something that, you know, I'm obviously going to be in next year, but... Um, definitely the teams that showed up were not what everyone was expecting. Um, but... Uh, if, if just a little history about COD Champs, this is the third Call of Duty Championships. Uh, the first one was won by Optic Gaming, and that roster lineup was Merc, Big T, Nadeshot, and Vengeance, I believe. He was a sub. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I know definitely Merc, Big T, Nadeshot, um, they won that one. Second one was won, however, by Fariko Impact. Um, that team is disbanded. It no longer exists. And that made of, of Karma, Miracles, Parasite, and I believe Killa. <laughs> Anyways, um, so this year, third, and real quick, if you guys can see right now, you can see on your screen all of the teams that are actually going to be competing at Call of Duty Championships. So in North America, real quick, I'm just going to run through it. We have Aztec Gaming from Mexico, Complexity United States of America, Envious from USA, FaZe from USA, uh, Optic from the US, Rise Nation from the US, Strictly Business from the US, Team Caliber from the US, Vex Revenge and Wild Gaming from Canada, and Xfinity Gaming from the US. Um, pretty much all the US teams are the ones that bring the heat. I'm definitely, uh, I'm, I'm not really going to go over any other teams uh, for a couple reasons. One, I haven't really heard of them. Um, evidently, it was either Immunity or um, Trident T Daughters, I don't believe. One of them from Australia is supposed to be insanely good. But I'm just going to go over the teams that I know from Europe. And Epsilon Esports, uh, TCM Gaming, and Team Orbit, all UK teams, are really the only ones that I actually know of. Um, I don't really know any of these other teams. But yes, I believe all one, two, three, four, five. yep, all six continents a team is being represented from. So that's pretty cool. I mean, obviously, um, in every past COD Championships, it usually comes down to the American teams. For some reason, just the U.S. always brings the heat to these competitions. Um, but just, you know, I, I don't know if you guys are as excited as I am. Maybe you've never heard of competitive Call of Duty. Um, I did it until beginning of Modern Warfare 3, and I just fell in love with it. Because, you know, this, this, you know, I mean, it's a game that you and me and other people, the thousands of people play every single day. Well, not, not for me every single day, but on the weekends. But I wish every single day. But we play every single day, um, you know, and, and these people, they play for a million dollars. So, I mean, it, it's fun to watch. It's exciting. You learn all kinds of new stuff. It is from March 28th to the 30th. That is this weekend. So, I am going to be sitting in my basement with, like, three computers watching all of the streams. It will be on MLG.TV. It's going to be the biggest thing on Twitter, on Xbox, on everything this week. I believe you can watch it on the, the Xbox Home, whatever you call it. But uh, if you guys did not watch the qualifiers for the United States... Oh, uh, before I get into that, I'm sorry. I'm sidetracking today. Um, again, I'm just going to give you guys a little, little bit of a rundown before um, I, I get into the U.S. qualifiers. Cause that's also something I would definitely like to talk about. So the main game types that you play... Well, the only game types that you play are uh, Search and Destroy, Blitz, and Domination. Um, the rule set, you can look at that at mlg.tv.com, but there are certain things that you can use and you can't use. There's restrictions and all that fun stuff. 
Um, so that's just basically the rundown. You play those three game modes. Um, it is a best of five. So that is you play Domination, Search and Destroy, Blitz, Domination, Search. I believe when you get in semifinals, it's a best of seven, which is Domination, Search, Blitz, Dom, Search, Blitz, Dom. And then whenever you get into the finals, I, or semifinals, finals, one of the two. I know finals is a best of 11, which again is Dom, Search, Blitz, Dom, Search, Blitz, Dom, Search, Blitz, Dom search and you play on every map every game mode and it's long and it's boring sometimes but it's usually really exciting i like watching search and destroy that's my favorite game mode to watch um in my opinion I, blitz can be fun at times but a lot of the times really boring but on to u.s qualifiers um they happened two weeks ago i'm actually not really positive i watched it though um if you guys can see uh real quick i'm gonna pull it up again on the north america side you can see all of the teams that did qualify from the United States, and there were a lot of upsets. Um, Curse LV, um, which has three of the people that won COD Champs last year, did not qualify. Um, they got knocked out by Rise Nation um, in the very first round of the winner's bracket. The number 14th spot, which was Rise against the number 3 Curse LV, lost to them. Parasite was bitching on Twitter about how it's because his controller broke. Well, then he tweeted out right before his match. Um, I'm gonna see if I can if I have this pulled up. Um, you know, if I don't, um, you can, uh, whatever. But right before his match, he said, "Got my controller fixed. Thanks to Scuff Gaming. Time to come out and win." Lost to Curse LV. They were out. So Parasite, do not blame on your controller. You just suck. Um, <laughs> that's kind of mean to say, but I mean, he was he was bitching about his controller. Um, but uh. What else happened, man? It was crazy. Um, Curse NY did not make it. That was the other Curse team that was expected to make it. Um, honestly, when it came down to this competition, really the main teams were expected to make it. You know, like Optic, MV Phase, um, SB, TK, um, C Complexity, and Curse LV. You know, I no one <laughs> no one really expected um, really what went down. Xfinity Gaming somehow snuck in there and won. Um, uh, Rise Nation, they, I don't really understand how in the world they pulled out such an upset, but they actually did end up making it to COD Champs, so congrats to them, a bunch of newbies making their way up, um, that's probably gonna be one of my favorite new teams, to be honest, but it was, it was bizarre, Complexity lost their first LAN event match ever in the past year and a half. If you guys don't know who Complexity is, I'm explaining real quick. Basically, it consists of TP, um, TP, Crim6, Aix, and the new pickup Karma, who actually came from Envy earlier in Black Ops 2 and was a part of Team Impact and won last year's COD Champs. Um, they have not, the Complexity, the team, has not lost a single LAN event. If you don't know what LAN stands for, it's Local Area Network. It's basically, instead of online, where there's a lot of bullshit and people getting hosts and getting killed real easily, it's everyone has, like, the same everything. It's equal and it's different. Um, and they haven't lost one of those ever in the past year and a half, and they finally did. Which was crazy. They lost to SB, and SB actually ended up winning the U.S. qualifiers, I believe, confirming the number one seat going into COD Champs. So that is definitely amazing for them. Uh, my favorite teams, Optic and Envy and FaZe, all made it in, so I was happy for. Um, Rise upsetted LV. I mean, a lot happened. I mean, it, it really did. Xfinity upsetted Justice. Um, a lot went down. So, I don't know if you guys are as excited for Call of Duty Champs as I am, because this is something I look forward to. But, I, just, just, if you're not into that kind of stuff, if you're not into, like, competitive Call of Duty, if you're not into COD in general, if you're a Halo fan, if you're a Battlefield person, if you're a Titanfall person, I don't even know if those exist yet. But, um, if you were definitely interested, you know, or even if not, just watch the final round. Like, the the, the the championship round where it's 11 maps. Watch the whole thing. You get to see the atmosphere. You get to hear, like, interviews from other pro players that got knocked out earlier in the day. It's really something exciting to watch. If you can see the event, they have casters. They have some sexy woman 
who's like a blonde that's always there that I just want to marry, but I can't because I can't see her because I'm at home on my TV and I'm just fat eating Doritos and Mountain Dew. But, you know, but um, it's definitely exciting to match um, MLG.TV. And also, if you kind of want to see what lands are a little bit like, if you've never seen one before, on MLG.TV, um, whenever this video drops, there is actually a LAN event, a practice LAN, not for championships or for money. Um, going on at the Optic House right now against SB and Optic. It's going to be going on all week up until the 27th, which I believe is Friday. So this is a video, you know, if you haven't seen it, if you just kind of want to see what it's like, it's definitely not what it's going to be like at Champs. At Champs, it's completely different. But uh, if you would like to see what kind of a land looks like and just the basics of it, go check that out. But uh, as always, guys, I hope you guys are just as excited for me as COD Champs. There will be a video coming out the phone just rang and you didn't need to hear that but there will be a video coming out Monday or Tuesday talking about who won and all the crazy upsets that are hopefully going to happen and also what teams do you think are going to make it to the top four the semifinals um four teams will make it right now I am predicting it and I guarantee my prediction will be right I am guessing Envy Optic Strictly business and complexity. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you're a UK fan watching this and you're a TCM at heart, I believe they'll make it far, but just not that far. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, hit, hit me up on Twitter, tell me you think's gonna win. And as always, guys, this is Infinity, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.